Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Top Coder Weekly, where I, Nick Castillo, will update you on what's going on around the Top Coder community. This video will be covering news and events across the three different tracks, development, design, and data science. So feel free to click one of these buttons to skip ahead and get the news of the track of your choice. Or just stick around for the whole show. All right, here we go. Developers, did you know that Swifttoberfest is upon us? You are going to be hearing a lot about it from now until the end of the year. Swifttoberfest is an initiative to engage and grow the Topcoder iOS community with dozens of new Swift challenges. I know what you're thinking. What about the prizes, Nick? What can I win? Well, I'm glad you asked, because the prizes to be won are pretty spectacular. You will have an opportunity to win t-shirts, Apple TVs, iPads, Apple Watches, MacBook Pro, and stacks of cash. I wish I could participate. Well, while we're on the topic of Swifttoberfest, I have to tell you about our newest guest blog from Mohamed1945, where he shows you and explains practical examples of using generics in Swift. Calling all hackathoners, we are already about a week into this month's hackathon, and you still have plenty of time to participate. This month's theme is to create a concert app using Instagram and HP Idol on demand APIs. So show us what you've got. Did I mention the winner will receive a limited edition Top Coder Gold t shirt? Good luck! Designers, here's your news for the week. Swifttoberfest has launched and the initial design challenges began Monday, October 5th. Look for challenges with Swifttoberfest in the title. For your chance to earn leaderboard points and win prizes, you can find the link in the description below. The TCO15 design finals in Indonesia was a huge success. 12 UI designers and six UI prototypers were going at it for a full day and a half. At the end of it all, Abba de Vera received first place for UI design, winning $8,000, with I Am Tong coming in second, and for the prototype, Delipa received first place, winning $3,000, with this person coming in second. Sorry, I just don't know how to pronounce that one. The spectators weren't left out of the fun, as they participated in Rapid UX and Pixel Pusher contests throughout the day. Participants in the Rapid UX contest had to develop a single mobile screen based off of a story and wireframe in one hour. The results were impressive to say the least. As for the Pixel Pusher contest, participants were given an image and they had to augment it into a funny situation and the crowd voted for their favorite one. Thanks guys. We have a couple featured challenges this week, including one from Crowd Reason. This challenge is the first of a three challenge series to design the Metatasker microsite. Our other feature challenge is by Sunshot. This challenge is focused on creating a wireframe for a responsive application that will allow solar developers to search through a list of properties and find an appropriate site for development. Good luck. Data scientists, looking at you now. I would like to introduce you all to September member of the month. Shai Hitdin. Nice profile picture. He advanced from Division 2 to Division 1 and had a total increase of 396 points. So if you see him around the forums, give him a congratulations. Your featured match this week is actually tomorrow. SRM670 is the next algorithm match and will begin at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to register at least 15 minutes before the match begins. You also have a fun marathon match coming up, and that would be fun marathon match number 89, and it is launching on October 12th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you feel like that these matches are a little too advanced for you, and you should definitely check out one of the fun series, Learning Data Science Challenges. This month's challenge focuses on linear regression. Well, that does it for me here at Top Coder Weekly. Until next week, work hard, play hard, and as always, I'll see you in the forums.